All right, stop what you're doing if you are a seedling or sprout or what some people on this app, which I hate, called a baby witch. If you are just starting your practice, this spell is for you, especially not spell. This technique is for you. I am about to share something out of my original Book of Shadows that me and a life partner at one point um, came up with, okay? What I'm about to show you, two examples, are what is known as spell formulas. What the fuck is a spell formula? It in itself is exactly what it states, okay? It is steps to help you not only put your spell together, but also to make sure that it actually works out the way that it's supposed to. So for all of my people on here that keep saying, just set your intentions, go the fuck away. That's the reason your magic's not working. And to that degree, I have to say there is a difference between magic and manifestation with this particular thing, not the point we're not having this conversation or argument, okay? Magic is more than just setting your intention and walking away. You have to show action and you have to show the universe that you want what you were trying to pull into you, okay? Energy manipulation at its core. Anyways, let's get into this. Okay, so this is a rough draft of a spell formula. I'm going to walk you through it. Okay, so high frequency energies, low frequency energies. The astral, spirits, angels, daemons, etc. Daemons can also be down here, not getting into that. DNA, atoms, etc. This is where we are, and this is also, technically we're here, but we also manipulate this to be able to get to this. Also, the Eightfold Path. Manipulating, technically it's, it's, you are changing the oxygen to your brain to actually change your perception of the frequencies, if you will, that you're seeing, okay? Not the point. We're going to go to the next part, which is this right here, okay? So we have the material plane, the elemental plane, and then we have the astral plane. When you are doing your spell work, this is you, right? You are going to manipulate it right that's the alchemy aspect changing multiple things into one transforming it transmuting it then you're going to send it out to your soul right you're going to move over here and then it's going to go down to this to success right so it's got to move through all of these levels to be able to get there now some of you may be like what the fuck are you talking about i'm about to break it down so without giving too much away i am currently prepping for a sweetening jar. We're not having the conversation. I've already made hundreds of thousands. Okay. I've made multiple videos explaining that, okay? Just because you hear something on TikTok, do more research anyways. Okay, so this particular thing, there is a specific goal that they would like to reach with this particular thing, right? So there's your first step, right? The goal, okay? Keywords that you were going to use and write down to when you go and get all of your ingredients for your working. Um, Write keywords down. What do I mean by that? One of them is going to be successful, okay? One of them is going to be attract, as in there is a specific thing that this particular person wants to attract with this particular thing. So now that you have those keywords, you're going to make that list. Then you're going to go where all of your ingredients are, and then you're going to A, remember them, or B, look them up. What are things to help attract? Nine times out of ten, my brain automatically goes to what? Magnets. Okay, there are lodestones. So many other things depending on what you're doing, okay? So there's one thing. There's the one thing that you're using in that spell work to attract these things, right? Then you're going to go down. Success. Okay, attract that. Say this is involving writing. I would find a material thing or another primarily an actual symbolic thing to represent writing. Now, obviously, most people write on a keyboard. So if I had a printer, I would go to the printer and, you know, find some random free image of a computer or a laptop or a, what, typewriter, and I would print that out. That's going to go in it as well. So forth and so on. The reason that you write, now I preferably, uh, if I'm doing my own custom working and my own practice, I don't actually do all this. I'm very instinctual. But to start off with, yes, you can incorporate the instinctual aspect, but it is great to actually get into the habit of looking these things up and writing them down. The reason you are writing these down and making the step-by-step -step list is because, say for my practice, after 28 to 30 days, we'll go ahead and say 30, after 30 days, if I have not seen any type of results, and depending on the divination that I do, because again, what do I always say? Manifestations and spell work do not have a point of arrival, okay? Depending on what action you're taking, 
as in, say it's a job spell, you're going to fill as many applications out, you're going to ask around, you're going to put physical things out there in the universe that show the universe saying, hey, I really want what I'm trying to attract to me. If it's a prosperity spell, you're going to do everything you possibly can to attract more prosperity to you. You see that, okay, okay, great. I'm glad you're keeping up with that. I'm also keeping up with that as well. But, so, whatever period of time you put, if you do not see any type of results, do some type of divination to see if you need to go back and redo it and tweak the spell work. Sometimes you can add things, sometimes you can take away from things. Spell work is in its own practice a hit or miss. The more that you add to it or take away from it, you will be able to find the perfect formula. Okay, if you made it through this entire video, let me know in the comments what other information around this subject that you would like to hear. I will try my best to respond in a video. Send this to somebody who also may be able to learn from it. This is what teaching is about and this is what I love, okay? Thank you all so, so much. And again, let me know in the comments if you want to know anything else. And I have not forgotten about the death water recipe, okay? It's coming soon.